Hello everyone, welcome to the 50th episode of Thriving Talk. We're excited that we, um, we were able to do this many episodes and today we're going to do our 50th episode. So, Yeah, I'm also glad that uh, we survived so far to do the 50th one. In fact, I would say between both of us, this is not probably the 50th because there were, I think, uh, five or six episodes I did with somebody, some other people. Yeah. Yeah, so... But all over Thriving Talk, 50 episode. I think that's a good job, good thing yeah. to do. Yeah, and we're excited. And today we're coming back with another episode. So um, how are you doing? And like, I'm doing how, good. So uh, I was thinking maybe the next 50 will not be as easy as, or as fast as, as we did this time. Because yeah. uh, I think last one year we had been doing uh, one episode uh, per week. week. Yeah. Now it's two per month. Uh, what what is your plan? One per month, two per month? Yeah. Uh, so no. That. Yeah. So so let's see how it goes. Uh, no, I'm I'm doing good. I'm looking forward to this episode because it's a milestone. As I said in the last episode, uh, many times it's not easy to persist yeah. uh, with things and uh, and keeping keep things going, and uh, that's very important. So so I'm glad to be here. Uh, at this point yeah so yeah we're, we're all doing good and we're excited to be back and a quick reminder that Thriving Talk is available on all major platforms like um, Spotify YouTube all those different platforms you can subscribe or follow Thriving Talk so you can receive all the new episodes so we can get into today's topic so today we're going to talk about you could say an important topic it the topic is spiritual disciplines so we need spiritual disciplines in our life, and it's like an important thing, like all Christians need to learn about. So, like, what are like, as a, in a simple way, what are spiritual disciplines? Yeah. So, I'm guessing this topic is coming from the fact that I took a series on spiritual disciplines. Yeah. Um, which was almost, I guess, 19 sessions. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. Spiritual disciplines have to do with um, um, things we um, do to keep up with our spiritual life. So disciplines we practice in life. Um, because uh, we all know that a, a lawn which is left to its own will have weeds. <laughs> yeah. So you have to take care of it. And uh, a child who is not trained will go you know, anyway, right? In any, they could go in any ways. We have school systems, we have different, different things. Um, if somebody is preparing to participate in any sports, athletics, yeah. it could be anything, they need discipline in their life. They need to practice. Uh, otherwise, what's going to happen is they are just going to be, um, you know, left on their own. They're not going to grow. Now, um, just like any runner or anyone who is uh, participating in any sports, it's very important that we prepare. And uh, in order to finish strong or victorious, we need to be uh, preparing and right kind of training is needed in our lives. Uh, and we live in a time where distraction is a major problem. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. So you pick up any gadget, you can be distracted very soon and it will be hours and um, one key thing we have to understand is when we are distracted, it's not easy to discern what's God's will and God's voice. Uh, it's, it's very difficult because sometimes people are distracted with while reading the Bible. They're distracted even while praying. They're distracted in the church. They're distracted everywhere. So um, the point is uh, that we need to come to a point where uh, we develop uh, disciplines uh, which are spiritual in nature in our lives uh, which would help us to be um, trained and more engaged, more focused, so that we can um, develop, I would say, spiritual strength and stamina to face the challenges of the world and uh, to move forward. So that is uh, what it is all about. So um, there, are, there are many types of spiritual disciplines, but, you know, prayer, uh, meditation of God's word, reading God's word, all of these things comes into spiritual disciplines. Uh, but at the core, it, it is like basic, simple things we 
repeatedly do we do again and again so that we can maintain our uh, spiritual walk spiritual life um, i think that's that's a simplest way of uh, telling in other words um, i would also say you know in in first timothy chapter 4 uh, verses 7 and 8 apostle paul is writing to timothy and uh, he says um, do not waste uh, time arguing over godless ideas and old wives tales instead train yourself to be godly and then says physical training is good but training for godliness is much better promising benefit in this life and in the life to come in other ways what he's saying is you know don't spend your time in pointless talking in all those things but train yourself to be godly or in godliness um because godliness training in godliness has benefit in every way it holds promise not only for this present life but also for the okay. life which is coming so we need to be so at the core i would say that um, it has to do with uh, training ourselves uh, in godliness you know that's what uh, at at a very simple way i would say that so like why do we need discipline in our spiritual like or like why do we need to train for yeah, godliness I, i think i already yeah. said the reason but let me emphasize it back again if we don't have it um it's very difficult you know to uh maintain our because we have we live in a world which is full of a lot of sources of temptation and many things um and if we many times we if we just let things go uh, we our our spiritual life will be very dry and it you know we will be we will be completely out of touch for example yeah. if we don't have discipline of prayer uh, if you don't um take time out and maybe in future episodes when we focus on the subject of prayer we can talk more but let me just say that let's say um we don't have a particular time for prayer if we are not having any 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 discipline that you know i need to pray this much time or during these times it it, it can be very soon um that you you lose you know you don't have any prayer in life same way the bible reading sometimes you know we plan um uh, we follow some plan or we we follow some um some some regular uh time frames uh for reading the bible the main key point there is again uh if you don't have that discipline you may not read the bible yeah right the same with all the discipline so it is very important that we have some discipline in our life so that uh you know because every day is not sunday yeah you know sunday you go to church or you are in the church you are listening to the messages you are singing songs everything but every other day you need something right um to make sure that your relationship with god uh, is 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 there and you are every day growing in the grace of jesus christ you know growing and so for that you need discipline so what are like the main types of like spiritual disciplines or like what would you say are like the most important ones or like yeah categories of them or yeah so um it's a little difficult to um say types because they're they're depending on different people it's you know how yeah. they are presented about this topic there could be many but i would basically categorize this into like three which some people have done this in three way two ways to two grad types but i would call them as uh, personal disciplines yeah. uh which we practice personally and which is more internal uh, a good example would be personal prayer yeah um you know that those things then there are outward disciplines which you practice personally but it's 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 seen outwardly you know the impact is outward you know we'll get can talk more about it um you know when we get to that but it, it's like um uh, um one you know there are there are there are many good examples for that but um something like um you know if you're doing some service for other people you know when yeah. i say services if you are engaged in serving other people um then simplicity um sacrifice because if you lead a life of sacrifice it's it's visible to others so things of that nature and then finally i would also say there are disciplines which is community disciplines which you practice along with other people within the church community and um, so that's that's it. so three types i would say um the main thing we have to understand is um you know when we, when you are asking that question earlier let me just add one more thing um if we don't have disciplines which are supposed to build up our spiritual life our spirituality and our spiritual life can be very shallow 
And uh, these disciplines can help us to get deeper uh, with our knowledge of God and also our, our relationship in our walk. And, uh, but a lot of times, um, people may have a lot of knowledge also uh, because they listen to messages or they read books or anything. But uh, it is also important that we practice that in our life so that these disciplines really help. So personal, outward, and uh, community uh, are the three types of disciplines, how I would like to categorize it. So uh, will spiritual disciplines, or could it like make um, someone like legal legalistic or like so, something like um would it would it can it make someone yeah, yeah that's a that's a very um good argument yeah uh can can it make um somebody legalistic that's a good argument um i would say actually it could and but we have to do everything in the right way as we are supposed to do how can it be legalistic is if I say, um, like, you have to do these, these things, otherwise you will be cursed or you won't have blessing or, you know, things like that. And yeah. you're just doing it legalistically for some things like, you know. So the, you don't. Yeah, the Pharisees in the Bible, Jesus said, they were good in many aspects, especially giving tithe, a um, lot of things, the following the law and many, many, many things, you know, but. They had their own issues, same way. And that's why they were legalistic in their approach. Uh, but if these spiritual disciplines are taken in the right way, I, I think that um, it can um, lead in the right direction uh, yeah. and not make you legalistic. So yeah, we have to be careful that uh, we are not following this ritualistically. Uh, then if, if you're doing it legalistically, it doesn't really help. But when we get into the details of each of the disciplines, like, like for example, prayer, yeah, you can pray for the sake of just saying a prayer, right? Uh, without thinking, without even, you know, um, really having a heart for it. Yeah, then that's, that's different than when you are really doing heartfelt. So I think the, the goal behind spiritual disciplines is not to make you um, a heartless Christian, but help you to grow in that uh, devotional life. So in you the, like understand. What yeah, the spiritual formation should happen in your life. Not only understand, but also practice it in, a, in the correct way. Uh, or I would say transform life. So transformation. Uh, you know, Romans chapter 12 says about how we need to renew our mind, you know, be transformed. Um, so that, that if that has to happen... We need to have uh, these disciplines built into our life. If that doesn't happen, it's not going to work out. So, so yeah, if, if not practiced in the right way, I, I agree that this can lead to some legalistic uh, requirements. You know, some people can take it up and say, but uh, from my own experience, I don't think it, it leads you to legalism if you are doing it in the right way. Right. Rather, it will just help you, keep you on track. It will encourage you to be uh, you know, in, and, and help, help you to grow more in your relationship with Christ. So in your own personal life, like what are some uh, dis disciplines you like give most value to or you give um, like importance to? Yeah, um, let, me, let me just say when you say that, right, it's a very <laughs> difficult question <laughs> to answer uh, because if I answer that question, what happens is it will, it may almost sound like I'm, like really good with no i i think um you know i have uh, i i guess a you know a list of 18 disciplines which i shared or i have uh, you know covered in this entire series um i think we are going to do a episode for each yeah so meditation of the word of god yeah i i i i think i value that a lot uh, because if you are not meditating uh, the word of God, you are not going to understand, uh, right? Um, a good example I would say is, um, uh, because I, I do preaching, teaching, everything, it's very important. Uh, not only for that purpose, but also for my personal edification. Um, then study of the word of God, right? I, I'm, I'm going to stay away from the fact that reading the word of God is one aspect, but for the discipline, I would say study of the word of God. Um... Then, of course, prayer, um, I, I value it a lot. Then secrecy, um, I'm just randomly saying, you know, 
uh, having a sacrificial mentality, you know, that's another discipline, simplicity, um, then, you know, uh, there are like, you know, fellowship. Um, so rather than saying um, I am like, like too much on these things, I would say these all are foundations. Uh, but I think in a Christian's life or a child of God, like all these, all the like disciplines can be there because Bible actually encourages us um, right. to have those disciplines. But at the same time, uh, probably there are certain disciplines which needs to be uh, practiced on a daily basis, just like I said, prayer, reading the word of God, um, having a simple, simple attitude in life, you know, simplicity, things like that of that right. nature. That is, that is very important. So, uh, yeah, maybe as we get into each one of the disciples, I can throw more light on how practically it happens or it can happen or it has happened. But at this point, I would say, yes, all disciplines are important, but, um, and there are more actually. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, but uh, there are some things which are very essential. You know, we have a concept called as quiet time or a daily devotion. So daily devotion has what is called as prayer and reading of the word of God or study of the word of God, those two vital things. Um, so that when we, because those are very fundamental, but then there are other things which I said, which is done in a community basis, right? right? That's not something we can do every day. Uh, but like, then there are other things which, which will have an outward, uh, like helping somebody, right? right. Maybe, um, helping somebody in their need. It's not, that may not be something which you practice every day practically, but yeah. those things happen often. Like you need to do that. You, you will have opportunity to do that. But there are other disciplines which have to be done every day. Right. So do you have uh, like any final things you want to share or anything you want to add? Yeah, um, I, w I would say that, you know, there's sometimes people can take uh, this topic in a different way and say, hey, we really need to do, yeah. I would say training for godliness is very important um, because we live in a crooked, wicked generation where uh, if we, do, we are not diligent and careful, we can slip away very easily. So we have to be very uh, careful about that aspect. Uh, and then the first century church, it was built into the rhythm of life. You know, even you read Acts chapter 2 and verses 42 onwards, it says, they, the people were devoted to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread and prayer. Um, and it says that, you know, apostles devoted themselves to pray and the ministry of the word. Um, then the Antioch church was a worshiping church, fasting, praying, all, all built in. So when you look at the, the church, it was all built into the fabric of life. So I'm, I'm going, just going to say that this is not an activity we do, right? right. Uh, like brushing every day or taking a shower or, you know, certain things we do. It's not like we see that as a work we have to do. It's yeah. not a. It's not a task. It's it's built into our life, like eating food, uh, or or any of those things. It's like something we do automatically. We do, not yeah. It's it's a it's a discipline we have developed. Like yeah. a, if a child, when a child is born, they're not going to brush every day. Yeah. You have to te teach them, and once they get into the habit, they really do it automatically. Like you know. I'm guessing for a normal person, when they get up in the morning, I'm not going to, <laughs> when I say normal person, what I'm saying in general, uh, when they get up in the morning, they know they have to brush. They know, you know, they have to do things, uh, which, which is part, and they will eat. Yeah. Like people know, and by, by the time it's lunchtime, uh, nobody has to come and uh, push them. To uh, but for a healthy person, they will automatically uh, know that the time has come for them to eat the food, right? So same way, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is uh, this needs to be um, built into our daily routines, daily life, that this is not a separate activity we do very specifically. Initially it could be, but then it slowly becomes part of our life. Um, and um, of course, as I said, you know, uh, it, it is not like... Uh, we do this in a legalistic way. It is not to earn anything from God, right? But it is to be transformed. Uh, the sanctification process, the changing of life can be active in our life. And these changes have to happen in the inner chamber of our hearts. 
and they are these are disciplines are not meant to be like quick fixes yeah right so because this this take takes effort but once once we are in in this uh, practice of doing this and this becomes part of our life then we really enjoy it it's not like it's a Burger. it's a hassle it's a, it's a challenge for example in summer um like say we are starting to bike right yeah. and uh, maybe the startup may be a trouble but once we do few times and we start enjoying it like so, you know we want to do it every day right yeah. or or any activity uh, i think similarly uh, when we say about training in godliness uh, it's 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 to help us and uh, it is to make us more uh, conscious about god and um, more focused on what god wants to do and then also focusing on the transformation and changes in life right. so those are my thoughts uh, but i think um, as we do episodes uh, on different different spiritual disciplines itself we can really get into the some of the details and we can really focus on that but i, I think for now i would say it's very critical so uh, it, to have it so this was like a overview of basically what it means and yeah yeah it's a good over introduction <laughs> <laughs> Right. So thank you for sharing and I hope what my um dad talked about can I'll help you and when we talked about the importance of spiritual disciplines and the types of spiritual disciplines and like why why it's important and why do we need them. So um thank you for sharing and to all our viewers thank you for listening. In the coming weeks we'll be our coming weeks we will be coming back with more thriving talk episodes and as we said in the beginning thriving talk is available on many different platforms so from um, stay tuned to our thriving talk episodes and also my dad has a newsletter that goes out like once a month right yeah no once it is once a month once yeah. a month so make sh- be sure to tune be tuned to that um my dad shares a lot of good information in that so be tuned to that so um and thriving talk gets posted uh twice a month so also stay tuned to that so thank you everyone for listening and we'll be back soon and yes we should be back in few weeks with the next episode until then god bless you keep you all safe i know winter has started at least in the place where we live yeah. um i would say stay warm and uh, god yeah we'll see you later god bless you thank you <laughs>